Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched relations and functions part 1 and part 2. Let's take one more problem. We have a set A that has two elements 5, 6. We have to find A cross A cross A. So before finding A cross A cross A, let's find A cross A. So A cross A will be, let's take two set here, 5, 6 and 5, 6. Just to explain things clearly. We will take first element of this. And first element of this first. So it is 5, 5. Then we will keep the same element of this and we will take second element of this. It is 5, 6. Now we will ignore this element. We will take this element and first element of this. So it is 6, 5. And then again we will take this element of first second element of this set and second element of this set. So it is 6, 6. So we have A cross A ready. In this set, now we wanted to again multiply A and the A is 5, 6. Correct? So how we will do? So we will take first element of this and then first element of this and second element of this. Then first element of this, then this, this element, then th like this. So we will take first element of this, that is 5, 5 and first element of this set, that is 5, 5, 5. Now we will take first element of this and second element of this. So it is 5, 5, 6. This 5 actually. Similarly, we'll now we'll, this element is over. So we'll take this element 5, 6 and first element of this 5, 6, 5. Now second element of this 5, 6, 6. This is also over. Now we have 6, 5. 6, 5. We'll take this element 6, 5, 5. And then we'll say 6, 5, 6. Now we will take the last element which is left here, 6, 6 and first element of this that is 5 and then we will say again 6, 6 and the second element of this that is 6. So this complete is A cross A cross A. So what we have done, we found A cross A, we got this set and then we said A cross A cross A. So we took first element of this that is this and then element of this and then element of this to get this and this. Second element of this that is 5 comma 6 and then this element of this and this element of this we got this and this. Similarly we found all the values. Let's take one more example. R is the set of all real number and we have to find R cross R and R cross R cross R and we can do this in set builder form. Since we have not got any number so we can denote this in set builder form. So when you say R cross R this is nothing but x comma y where x is the member of r and y is the member of r. This is r cross r. Similarly when you see r cross r cross r what you get is a set x y z three numbers where x is the member of r y is the member of real y is a real number and z is also a real number. So we got this as the answer. Let me reiterate. R cross R will be a set of form X, Y where X is real number, Y is real number. Similarly, R cross R cross R will be a set of form X, Y, Z where all X, Y, Z are member of real number. So we'll say X epsilon R, Y epsilon R and Z epsilon R. So we have an example where we have the Cartesian product given and we have to find A cross B. The number of element we see is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So that means either we, the sets are in this form 1, 1, 4 or 2 and 4. That is element A and B. A has either 1 element and B has 4 element or A and B both have 2 element. That is confirmed now because the total number of product, number of items for A cross B is 4. Now we let me find the distinct number, distinct values in A. So when you say set A, the distinct values are the first values, P, M. So set A has P and M. That is two element. So set B will also have two element now. Now let's see for set B, we have to select the second element, the distinct second elements. The distinct second element are Q and R. Q and R is repeat, Q and R. And if you see, this is also two. So two into two is four. That means R assumption is correct. 
So A is a set which has two element P and M and B is a set which has two element Q and Let's take one more problem where it says the Cartesian product of A into A is nine elements. It has nine elements. That means A into A is equal to nine. That means A has three elements. Very sure. Because three into three is nine. And they are saying A into A. So both elements are same. So A has number of A has three elements. That is confirmed. Now they are asking us to find the values in set A. So the element on the left or the element on the right, any of these can belong to A because it's all A. So in this case, we see that minus 1, 0 and 1. There are three numbers which are either on the left or right and this are three numbers. And we have seen that it should have only three numbers. So we can say that set A is minus 1, 0 and 1. Let me repeat once again. It says that number of elements in A cross A is 9. So that means A cross A is 9, number of elements. So number of elements in A cross A is equal to number of elements in A into number of elements in B into A, correct? So let's suppose this is X. So we'll say number of elements in A cross A is equal to X into X is equal to 9 or X is equal to 3. It can be plus minus 3, but we can ignore minus 3 because number is always positive. It's ignore positive 3. It should have 3 elements. Since A cross A, so when we have seen A cross A also, it is something like this XY, where X is member of A and Y is member of A. So that means both are member of A, X or Y. So NS1 is also member of A, 0 is member of A, 0 is member of A, 1 is member of A. So we see all the 3 are here. So we can say confirmly that set A has three elements and these are minus one, zero and one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once